Hello my people, good morning, good afternoon, good evening. It all depends on where you are hearing us from. Here comes another information and this is in what Woto Woto, in the army. Yes, whenever somebody is having problem from the inside, from the family, that problem will eat that person up. Nigerian army, you are saying they are protecting you when they cannot even protect their own colleagues. <laughs> then... You know you are deceiving yourself by telling yourself that these are your security people. Mm. Hey, there are, there are three people mentioned here. This army female officer is venting, crying that these men want to kill her. They are by forcing her to do what she does not want to do. And therefore, the kind of frustration, punishment, stagnation they are giving to her is second to none. And the world must have to hear her voice. So please help this lady to share. Nigerian army is in trouble. They are corrupt. They are wicked. They are killers. These are terrorists. Confirmation, confirmation of what we are saying. Our Simon Ebai will bring them down. Because on our her terrorists, they are negotiating evidence. This is what you have to help us. Okay, let's go there. Commission only did was very, very wrong. But let's reset ourselves. Let me tell you guys the truth. But most of our senior officers, they are very, very wicked. They are even worse than Commission only. Let me not lie to you. So let me tell you one story. Before I will tell you this story, I know definitely they will come for me. They will lock me up and they will dismiss me. I don't care. I think I won't endure again. Before coming out to make this video, I can't endure again. I can't. So, I don't want to die young. Definitely, I don't know who will for me. But before anybody will dismiss me, miss me, anyone that call for the other, anybody that call me for any other, anybody that want to do my child, anybody that want to do my other to dismiss me, they will, the person that do the other will not see peace. He or she will not see peace. And if you notice what put to me, please hold Kone IBI Bukharin responsible. Kone GS Ogo. And bigger than that, IBI Bukharin, um, IBI Shilibo. Hold these three people responsible. They, are they, 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 they don't want me to grow. They don't want my progress. This will happen. 2052. I was supposed to come to me medical center or job. Yeah, I met Kony Abi Abukani. Who requests sex for me and I refused. And ever since then, this man has been my nightmare in the army. He threatened to dismiss me each time he see me. He injects me, come to my room to inject me. My own apartment, come to my room here to inject me. Send some boys to my house. If I'm lying, I have all evidence. I have evidence against him. And I have witnesses. Come to my house to inject me. He also stigmatized me against. I have evidence against him. And I have witnesses. Come to my house to inject me. He also stigmatizing that I have made time is each time I try to expose him. Or each time any senior person, any senior, uh, any senior officer trying to intervene, he will tell you that I have made that in this. He will go to DOA to abort to board me out. He will go to DOA three good times to board me out of army. He freeze my account for one year. He freeze my account for every last 18 date, no salary. I've tried to come I've tried to come, I tried I cried to some senior officers I wrote a petition using section 179 of the Anforces Act. I've done so many, I've seen so many officers, senior officers, junior officers to intervene, but none of them is giving me this in here. But and anyone who's trying to intervene, you tell them I have mental illness. And the day he locked me, he injected me, he almost raped me. When they caught him and he said I have mental illness, he took me to psychiatry hospital, he went to lock me up there. He locked me up there for one good month without any medication. The 
denied me access to military courses. And meanwhile, you know, in, in, they know very well that my progression in the army determined my course attendance. No course. Now they've given me admission in medical school, they refuse to release me. There was, there was a time I called my dad, my dad interviewed, he was telling my dad to he was telling my dad to tell me to obey the last order. Who was the last order for him to sleep with me? Deny me everything. I can't even go on pass to see my, 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 my parents. No pass, no leave for me. No leave. But please, and please, if anything should happen to me, please hold them responsible. All right, my sister, hence I'm here. I will help you to share. Of course, people must hear. Nothing must happen to this girl. We know Nigeria is a very lawless place, a terrorist country. <laughs> they have killed many. And yet, nothing to show about it but at least don't die in silence Mazenam the Kano they are holding him there he's not dying in silence so people must have heard his voice Anuloluya Simon Epa will not die in silence he, these are the people that want to effect change because if you leave the status quo of Nigeria status quo of Nigeria is um, corruption killing maiming suppression oppression kidnapping banditry lies and fabrications thuggery everything that is the status quo that is what nigeria is known for nothing good nothing good at all you understand <laughs> so things must change people like us we have to effect that change let the world hear let everybody be aware to these people these criminals in uniform, repentant Boko Haram, hmm? a Buru uniform, send their hand to South East. This is what they are doing to our women, our daughters. Even the ones in army are not safe. If you cannot protect your colleague, who then do you want to protect? Is it people that you don't know outside that you protect? And yet they are carrying guns up and down in every region that they are security men. They are, your, they are defending you. Now, can you see it? That they are going for their selfish interest. They are not defending anyone. Let no man deceive you that you have military. Nigeria have long ago lost their military men. In the hands of Boko Haram. Oh, they will come to the east to start killing uh, innocent civilians. And now, because we have started giving them back to back. That is how it is going now. And everybody, please stay glued to this channel as more news will unfold. God bless you.